whenever you talk to John, you, you told him straight up that you knew he was 13. I can't tell you how many times in this chat log that you tell him that you know he's 13. You talk about spring break. You ask him when, he's, when his mom's leaving. This video contains the interview of a predator who spent nearly a week grooming a 13-year-old boy. In 2007, Timothy Kine was a 42-year-old electrician that spent much of his free time chatting up young men online. He soon zeroed in on a 13-year-old named John, who in reality was a decoy connected with the show to catch a predator. Kind would compliment John and make him feel important, but the discussion soon took a darker turn as Kind introduced more and more inappropriate subject matter. Soon, he had John agreeing to meet with him when he would be alone for the weekend. When Kind made his move, he was shocked when he was not met by John, but by several agents who tackled him to the ground. Home County Police Department. Kim, do you know why you're here? Yeah. Why did you come to Highland Heights tonight? Can you tell me? I was going to meet this this guy, and just you know, we were going to watch the movies and stuff. Yeah. So, tell me how that evolved. We just met online. I was actually going to be in the area anyways, and you know. Okay. Who was that person? John. I can't remember his last name. I'm sorry. John. I can't remember his last name. John. Okay. Um, and was he, how old was he? I, you know? 18, I think. I really don't know. 18. Okay. How'd you meet him? Uh, on, online. Do you chat online? Yeah. Quite frequently? Yeah. Um, do you know where you met him online? Uh, gay.com. Okay. And, um, so he invited you here? Yeah. Today? I have some chat logs where you all talked back and forth, and um, I think that that person told you they were 13 in the chat I, log. I, don't, I wouldn't meet somebody 13 years old. No? Mm -mm. So and that's you, too, you know, that's, that's too young. Yeah. Well, what were you going to do? Just, once I you brought got some here? movies, and that was about it, really. Yeah, what kind of movies? Just some. Like Army Flex and yeah. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm forty two. Forty two. Okay. Now did where do you live? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. So you came from Indianapolis. Right. Well here. I was gonna go see my parents, so I live in Dayton. Your parents live in right. Dayton. Where do they right. live in Dayton? Uh, off of Mad River Road. Mad River mm -hmm. Road? The agent ask casual questions that aren't related to the investigation to make Kine relaxed, so he falls into the habit of answering questions without thinking about it. Distraught, Parker Bell fired a 40 caliber pistol into the floor, sending the room, which included several civilians, into a panic as people ducked for cover. Like uh, by the date mall area. Uh -huh. and do you chat from home or do you chat from somewhere else? Home. From home? Do you have a computer? Mm hmm Do you, what kind of computer do you have? Just, just a lap or a desktop. PC? Mm hmm Do you have a webcam? No. So you don't use that no. to chat? No. Okay. Um, do you want to tell me a little bit about how you chatted with, was it John, you said? Yeah. Nothing. We just met and, you know, it just went from there. Okay. Did you have something in common? Um, just seemed like a nice guy, and, you know. What are, what are some of the things you guys talked about? All kinds of different things, really. Tell me about that. It's... I mean, God, I, you know. We just talked, you know, about watching, watching TV, you know, what kind of stuff, you know, sports and stuff like that, and, you know, it's... Pretty much about it. Did you guys talk about, from there. talk about anything else? Talk yeah, about the not, TV or anything like that? I mean, not really. Not that I can recall. What about um, John's family or anything like that? Did you discuss? 
not no. I think he said that his he lived with his parents and his mom was going to be away and you know said come over. I said, well, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to meet you. So how did you um, find the location? Did you? He gave me an address. Gave you an address, and then did you, did you do a map, or did you map know quest. how to get no, here already? Map quest. Right. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you chat online quite often. Off and on, you know. Yeah. What's often? Do you um, tend to talk to a lot of people? Not really. I mean, you know, if I find somebody interesting, I'll talk to them, and you know. Um, what kind of things do you chat about? Just whatever, really, you know. No, I, I really don't. <laughs> I mean, I, God, I don't know, you know, I mean, just talk and go from there. <clears throat> why, why do you use the chat? Uh, is it a chat room that you go to? Yeah, I guess so. To meet people? Yeah. I, I'm not a chatter, so I don't, I don't really understand it. Can you help me? understand um, why you use that medium to just to meet pe just to meet people you know I mean, really. okay. is there a particular type of person you're looking for not really just I mean you know it's not really you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. um, I've, I've read a little bit of the chat that you had and um, there were some underlying issues of maybe homosexuality um, and was that maybe the reason for your contact with John? Uh, could be but if I mean if he was if he's and if, don't you know, the take age, my if that's what you said that's you know that would never happen because I think if it if I remember right God when I met him I can't remember the name. The the name on it because it said like a date seventy four or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so he was homosexual. Is that? I don't. You know. I don't know. You don't know. How no. did it? I mean, I don't. Know, you know. I mean, unless you meet somebody. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I mean, I. You know, I want. You know, do any of that. You know, I'd like to meet somebody and go from there. Mm -hmm. So, but you were interested in him because he was a boy or a man? Personality and so forth. Personality. You know, friends. Okay. Is it Tim? Yeah, that's fine. I had a little chance to read the, the chats too. Okay. And, you know, I think looking at the chats, I. I think there was something a little more that was going to happen out here, okay? And, you know, we've looked at it, we've read them, okay? Um, you know, there's a difference between someone who comes up here and, you know, may it, I'm not saying a mistake or anything, and there's a difference between somebody who actually goes out and looks for kids. Okay. You don't take me as a guy right now. From right now, I, I you don't take me as a guy that goes out six little kids. No. Okay. You're not, not that at guy. all. You're no. not that guy. No. But no. I think what happened is <clears throat> you met. Uh, what's his name again? I'm sorry. Uh, online. Uh, what's you you said it earlier. He did the John? guy you met. Does it John? I know? don't know if that's. I don't know okay. who it is now. I don't know anything okay. anymore. Yeah. Well. I mean, the guy you were chatting online with. <clears throat> Kine is evasive when asked questions concerning his motivations for speaking to the boy online. His answers are never firm, as if he is trying to leave himself room to backtrack. Reed claims to be unfamiliar with chatting and asks him to explain. This is a useful tactic that gets suspects to open up. Most people can't resist this request, especially people that feel like having special knowledge puts them in a position of power. Unfortunately, the second agent breaks the flow and makes the mistake of talking more than listening to what Kine might have said. Give me the address up here in the yes. lines. Okay. I think you guys both were thinking about something a little bit more. Okay. 
that would that be the truth? I, you know, until I don't know. You know, I mean, me, talking to somebody online and meeting somebody is, you know, well, you, it's totally different things. You know, I mean, you, I'm always looking for friends. And, you, know, you know, if we can come out and talk about the truth here, okay? <clears throat> because you came up here, the way you were talking, I think there was a little bit more. I can understand that, other than, you know, if I give this to somebody else. I can just easily hand this to them and say, okay, this guy was out to find a 13-year-old or 14-year-old, whatever. They're going to think a lot worse. But if we talk about what happened here, just the three of us, maybe we can figure this out. And maybe there's something a little different. And maybe you're not that guy that's out there looking for little kids or that. I'm, you know, I'm not looking for little kids. And you're not. Kids. And you're... No. It, but... You probably, you were looking for a little bit more when you came up here. I don't know until I, you know, until you meet somebody, you know, I don't know. So your intentions were to come here and... And my, my intentions were to come here and, you know, get to know somebody and, you know, see how it goes. But if, what, what 13 if, years old, is that what you're saying? 13, you know, 14, I, would that... That would not have interested me at all. Would that have been a possibility? No. If you felt a connection? No, not at 13 years old. I could, man, I could have sworn the guy said he was 18 years old, and he was still in school. In in college? I don't, I don't know. We didn't even get that. I didn't, I didn't think he asked. Mm -hmm. Or I asked. I think everybody was, everybody was being up front. Okay. You know, we don't pick and choose sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> And I understand that, you know, sometimes emotions weigh more than over other, other things, age, other things, okay? And you came up here, and I'm thinking, probably, we're going to want a little bit more. Probably think something sexual, okay? All right? Am I on the right track? You know, no. I mean, I'm not looking, if that's what you're saying, that I came up here looking for sex. From a well, kid. you're looking for to be with somebody, I, yeah, to have a to, good time. To meet somebody, have a good time, and have a good time as sex-wise, or have a good time, you know, I mean, meet somebody and have a good time. Talk to them, get to know somebody. So, it was a possibility. You know, I, not, if a, you... not at that age, no. I don't even think I would, I would not even, you know, think about that. Mm -hmm. To have it's... sex with a 13-year-old, no. I can't. I mean, but, you know, looking at some of your, your chats here, I mean, you know, I'm not saying you're you're going to do some major <coughs> lot of things, but it's not like you want to be a little, little intimate. You know what I mean by intimate? Close. Would that, would that be a characterization? I, I don't, you know. Say, so throw, <laughs> throw out the sexual part, just be intimate. What's intimate? You know, being I mean, close, being close, sharing hugging. space. Yeah, I mean it sharing depends, you know, space. on the person though. It depends on the person. Yeah. Were you hoping for something like that up here? I, you know, if I meet the right guy, maybe so. But you know, you, I mean, until you, you actually meet somebody and go, you know, and get yeah. to know them, I. You really strike me as a very caring person. I, I can't imagine that you would violate someone no. in any way I mean you know I mean that's what you you want to meet somebody and spend some time and get to know each other and possibly if it leads to something more then yeah it would I be mean, a true relationship is, is what I'm hearing yeah and what exactly. I see but in I you. you know what you guys are trying to say you know I I didn't know somebody was 13 years old mm -hmm. So they didn't tell you when they chatted I, with you, you know, that they were 13? Yeah, he said, I thought he said it was 18, though. I remember he was saying he was in school, and he went to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't recall. Yeah. But 13, no. Okay. I mean, I would have found out he was 13. I would have shit. Yeah. So... You said you chatted from him, chatted with him from home. Yeah. 
is that Indianapolis? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I noticed that you told him you were in Dayton. I was actually going to Dayton. Okay. They're having a hard time pinning Kine down, and he calls on their use of the word intimate. Depending on the context and a person's interpretation, this word can have several meanings. Kine isn't foolish enough to tie himself to anything that might have a sexual connotation. So, um... I mean, I, I go to Dayton oh, like every weekend, forth. yeah. Okay. What, what do you do? Uh, well, I'm actually in between jobs, so... Yeah? Electrician. Oh, okay. Houses or...? Commercial buildings. Commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're in between jobs? And yep. Just, your parents live in Dayton? Right. So you travel there. Do you stay with them? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Do you have any kids? No. Okay. So anybody lives with you? No. Significant other? I have a nephew that stays with me every now and then, but... Okay. How often would you say he visits? Maybe... I, you know, it's hard to say. You know, sometimes he'll stay for a week, a month, two days, you know. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. does he work? No, he's in between jobs too, actually. What's he do? He's a landscaper, you know, it's yeah. whatever. Okay. <clears throat> in your chat, there were uh, discussions about relationships with other people. I understood that you had a boyfriend who left and went to Florida. Mm -hmm. Is that true? So you've had some ups and downs sure. in as far as relationships are concerned sure. and how they've worked out for you. Um, so you turn to the chat rooms to discuss those Just things? Just meet people, and, yeah, to talk, yeah. Yeah. Sure. To pass the time. Yeah. Lonely and need somebody <clears throat> to talk to Just, and you maybe know. meet and do something. Well, you know. Yeah. It, I'm sure... Not that I know personally, but I'm sure that it would be hard uh, the way society is today with um, homosexual tendencies for that to be accepted very easily. So it would be hard for you to find a whole lot of people to openly display your affection with and um, not offend other people. So I can see where you would go to a chat room to uh, express yourself and find out who you are as well as who other people are. Do you think John was having those issues? I don't know, you know. Did you connect I with you know, him I never in that met the, I never met a guy, so you, I don't know how somebody actually is until you meet somebody. Yeah, but on your chat, I mean, you obviously came here because you felt some connection. I mean, I don't see you being the sure. kind of person that would just, you know, yeah, or I would, uh, you, you know, know run yeah. off and no. go to somebody's house without no. having some feeling about whether you're even going to be able to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Is that true, or am I way off base? No, I, you know, I guess that's true. But I mean, the age thing is what you guys are, you know, I. Tim, you're you're getting caught up with the age thing. I'm I'm not. Yeah, we're you're, just trying you're to getting understand. Kind of with, you're getting caught up with the age. Now, if you want to get caught up with the age, that's fine. But throwing out the age thing, you come up here to have some fun, to be with somebody, you brought some army flags, you brought some just to have a good time, right? Yeah, I mean to have a, you know, you get to know, time. yeah, right. And to get to know somebody. Yes. Okay. And a lot of times <clears throat> when you chat and you talk about certain things, you both have things you have in common, okay? It sounds like he's a little lonely, you're a little lonely, both meeting online, right? Both a little lonely, okay? You, you know, it's normal. I mean, those are normal feelings. If it wasn't, you know, you'd be cold-hearted or whatever. But you came up here looking for something, okay? And when you came up here, I'm not saying you were in a this was going to be some type of crazy wild night. I'm not saying that, okay? You're getting caught up in that, too. But what I'm saying is... That's what it seems like you're well, insinuating. Well, well that, I'm, not, you know, I'm, not, damn, I'm not trying to, to insinuate anything, okay? 
<clears throat> but I, you know, I know certain things. Things that, you know, you, you come up here to have a good time, meet somebody you thought was a nice person, okay? And you came up here to sit and watch the movies, and if things happened, they happened. You know, that's all it was going to be. The agents try to tell Kine that they aren't focused on the issue of age, but Kine knows very well that that is exactly where their interest lies. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be there. If his trip didn't involve a minor, there would be no legal issue. Self-preservation dictates that Kine will focus on the things that he knows to have the potential to land him in jail. You know, depending on how things went, have some time watching a movie, uh, share some popcorn. Uh, that's how you get to know somebody. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's, you spend time. Yeah, Tim, you got feelings. That's right. You're just yeah. like anybody else. Her, <clears throat> me, you, we all have feelings, and you, you know, and you, you know. There's nothing wrong with expressing those feelings and being honest with yourself, <clears throat> as well as everybody else in the room, too. Sure. You know, so we're here, we, we want to hear what was going on, you know, what you intended to see happen once you got here. Um, I didn't you know, were you going to go to the happened. bowling alley yeah. and go bowling? Were you going to go out to you know, the movie theater? Sure, maybe. Yeah. And, I mean, that's what we're here you know, for. That's, we, you know, I mean, that's how you get to know somebody, you know, spend time, you know, sure. So, how did you feel about John when you were... I don't know, until, you know, like, until you actually meet somebody, you know what I mean? I mean, you don't know how somebody is talking on a computer. Well, it was obviously enough to get you to come sure. here. Sure. Tell me about that. Tell me about that connection that you felt. Well, I don't, you know, sure, but anybody lies, everybody lies. Oh. Online. Well, I guess, you know, evidently something happened. Yeah. So, what do you think he lied about? Well, I don't know. I, you know, I, I never met anybody. I just, I know I walked into a room and mm -hmm. I was on the ground. Yeah. But, so, you know, I mean, if I, you know, I mean, meet somebody, if, you, if I like them, you know, that's fine. But, but you just had a, you had enough connection online. Sure. So, hey, to let, come, me, let me yeah. let me go check it out. Here. And that's yeah. and that's what you all you do. You're just going to check it out and see if there could be more. Yeah, exactly. And that's normal. I don't. I have you know. I can see people. You know. You know. If you you mm -hmm. see something, it, it piques your interest, and you know you're you're going to want to check it out. I can understand that. You know. And. And while you were there, you know, if you didn't like him, you left, right? You know, if you got there and you didn't like him, that's what would have happened. Yeah, if, you, know, if, I mean, if you didn't like him, if you, but if you did like him, maybe hey, you got to talk a little bit and everything. It could have led to more. It is getting harder for Kind to act unaffected by the questions. He is unable to sit still and to give himself an excuse for not looking at them directly. He pretends to focus on his shoelaces. A good friendship, and would that be would that be the truth? I, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess you know it could be, yeah. you know. But and if you know anything else progressed, that could blossom, you know. <clears throat> Tim, we're just like I said, we're just we're just trying to figure out everything. I don't want people to look at you as Tim the other way because I don't think you want to be looked at as that way. No, 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 and, and that's not. What and I don't, and that's what you're not about. You're a hard, you're a hardworking guy. You're an electrician, right? Yeah. Are you like a journeyman or yeah. what? You're a journeyman. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dad's an electrician too. Okay, I grew up around the trade. All right. You work hard. That's a hard job. That's why I don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's a real hard job. It's a real hard job. My dad's got bad knees. <clears throat> I I understand. You know, it broke my dad down. Okay. You know, and you work hard. You're going through a lot of transition right now. 
you get did you get laid on? Or did Fired. You? Okay. Where'd you get? And then another. I went for another company, and they couldn't pay me. Payroll checks balance and shit like that. So. Which happens. It's time to go. Yeah. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Getting laid off. They have too many people to let you go. That happens. <clears throat> you, I mean, Tim. I mean, I can understand coming up here. You got a lot on your mind. You're in transition. We. Was it possible that you might have to move back home with your parents? No, I mean I was thinking about moving back to the area, but you know, you got a lot of your mind. move anywhere. You know, I mean, but so a combination of you got all this on your mind, you're lonely, right? You just need more, which is normal, and don't feel that it's not normal because it is normal. You know, I mean, I. I I can see these things, you know, you, but you just need, you know, I know you were lonely, you came up here, you wanted to find somebody new, and... I mean, I always look for friends, yeah. you know, I mean, that's, you know, it's a great thing. Now, friends are wonderful. Yeah, I, you know. Everybody needs friends. Sure. So, you know, once you got up here, okay, and let's be just totally be honest with you, because I want to be honest with you if you want to be honest with me, okay. I've been and, honest and, with and, you. And I don't and, know what you... And trust me, Tim, yeah. I will walk you through whatever we need to talk about. If you need help or something is there, I will walk you through it. I promise you, I will walk you through it. We can walk this together, or you can walk it alone. You want to walk with me, Tim? I don't know what you want from me. I mean, I'm I just want all of your questions. You're asking me to, you know. I, I don't know what you I'm want. I'm just trying to. You came up here for a reason. I gave you the reason. Okay. I just want to make sure we're 100% honest with each other. Because I, th I think you're getting, you know, about the issue of, you know, whether there's going to be some wild, crazy weekend or something like that. I don't want you to get that out of your mind. But I think when you come up here, you were going to watch movies. It was probably going to turn romantic. And that was what was going to happen. I and then, know. then you could leave. I, I can't the week, tell you. you can, the weekend was going to be over, and then you go home. And you might have found a new friend out. Uh, you know, maybe. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I could, you can speculate. You know what I mean? But, but everybody I has just a, don't know. But everybody has an idea of what they want to do. Everybody has an idea of what they want to do. Everybody envisions, regardless if they get to do it or not, everybody envisions, you know what I mean by envision, correct? I, you know, I guess I can kind of, I don't, I don't, you know. You know, everybody has so, thoughts of. Where you play it out in your mind. Yeah. What, what may happen, what could happen. What are you asking from me? What do you think, what were you hoping where to happen? I, you know, like I said, you know, I would, I was going to meet the guy, go from there. If we liked each other, you know, that's fine, you know, but. Would it have went farther? I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Kine is tired of talking in circles. He still refuses to say what his intentions were. And he's almost angry that the agents won't just come out and say what is really happening. Waiting for a direct accusation can sometimes be worse than the accusation itself which is one of the reasons that the agents are prolonging this part of the questioning. You know, I mean, if you like a person, okay. And if you like him, you would go farther. If I liked him, I might go farther. But, I, you know, I mean, that's a, there's a whole lot of factors in, in this, though, too. I mean, if it, you know what I mean? Yeah. If it's a, a kid, a child, no. I'm not talking about the kids. You know, but, I'm talking about the person. You know, I'm per if I can meet somebody, then, you know, great. And I think you found that when you wanted to come up. I think you were, were hoping for that. Sure. Okay. You know, I'm looking for friends, sure. I mean, I would always look for friends. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I, just gonna, I'm just step out just for a brief moment. Okay. okay. I don't know. I'll be I'll be right. I'll be right. It's alright. You know 
I get the feeling that you think that we're trying to mess with you. That's, that's not the case at all. We're here to find out what this situation was so that we can explain it. That's and without your help, that's the situation. I, you know, I mean, that's you, you the understand me though. I, sure, I need I understand your you. help. I understand you, hundred percent. So that I can explain it right to everybody else. I, on your I behalf. understand you. So I need you to come clean with me. i and tell you know, me what this was all about. That is exactly what it was about. You know, if I meet somebody, fine. You know, I mean, if it goes farther, that's cool. But you know, I mean, I'm looking. I'm not looking for you know. I'm looking for friends. Yeah. Maybe a relationship, you know, I mean, yeah. I... And when you came up here today, that's what you had on your mind. That's what's going to be. Well, no. That, Tim... I, that's not what I had on my mind. I mean, when I came up here, I met, plan on meeting somebody, getting to know somebody. Tim, <clears throat> not... You had an idea what you want to do with it. Sure, watch some movies. Watch your movies and be... Maybe go, maybe go to the bowling alley, I, you know? More than Tim, I mean, you know, you you want one moment you're telling me, you know, it doesn't matter. Now it does matter. Tim, I can see it. You know, I'm willing to work with you. Okay. Uh, what do you What do you mean I'm, you're willing to work with me? I'm willing to work with you to help you <clears throat> not be there. I'm not there. I okay? mean, I'm not. Then, but what you're telling me. Is not matching what I see here. If I if I go out and I look at somebody, what that I'm looking for a boyfriend? That I'm looking to, to meet somebody? I'm meeting for friends. You know, a relationship. To have sex. You're looking to have a good time. Let if I if I like the person, and that's what was going to happen when you know, I came up here. I you know, I don't know. I you don't know. I don't know. Until you I already meet liked him. I you don't. Know, you're not going to. Did you know. not already like I, him? Sure. I did, did but the, the picture that was painted, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. Like, you don't know until you meet somebody. Yeah. You're telling me he seems like an awesome guy. You know? You know, you're telling me, you know, I hope you sleep good. You know? Sure. You know, you're, I, you know. What's wrong with that? That means there was something more. Well, yeah, I mean, it, we talked for days. And you talked for days, we, and you built a connection, and you come up here to be with him. He yeah, was going to be I by himself. I did you. not. No. He was going to be I by himself. I did not, I swear. And you, and you guys could be alone, and you could exchange <clears throat> all those things that you talked about. You, you guys were going to be alone together. Nobody to bother you. Can I please use the bathroom? I'm gonna pee my pants. I can do it break real quick. Okay. Do you have something? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's up to you. How are you? Want to do? You still have a folder? That's the folder I had. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Let okay. me take a break she's, real quick. She's gonna step off for a minute. Pen. She's gonna. She's gonna come back in. Okay. And we'll see what we can do about a bathroom for you. Okay. You're asking me to say stuff that's not true. The questions remain repetitive, and it is causing Kine to become hostile. This will either cause him to shut down completely or to say more than he originally intended. Tim, I'm not trying to make you say something that's not true. I don't want you to tell I me something. I came up here to meet somebody, you know, and hopefully it went friends, and hopefully more. find a boyfriend, and, more. and if it went farther, and you, cool, but I not, think you want, not you want with a child. More. Not with a child, no. Tim. If I would have met the Tim. guy and if if I would have known that. Tim. I, then I made Tim, a mistake. age is not a, you're the kind age of, is a, age is a difference no. when it goes that young. No, yes. Tim. I'm sorry. It's not but, about the age, it's about the person. Well. It's about the person. Not when you're. And you can be 13, 13 and be 13, mature. 12, 10. You can be mature in 13. Five, you know. I'm not talking about a four-year-old. Well, even I'm thirteen not, you know, is still you know, a child. You know, but it didn't. When you <laughs> felt it, he had enough, what you felt connection. You guys had enough together, in that short amount of period, 
and you guys want to explore that. There's if nothing. Kid, if I would have went there and this kid would have been 13 years old, nothing would have happened anyways. I think it would have. No, it wouldn't have. Tim. Maybe we would have became friends, but Tim. that's probably as far as it would have went. Tim. Age doesn't matter to you. Age matters when it's like At, that. Well, Come on I'm now. not talking a four-year-old. I'm talking Come Tim. Come on now. Tim, I'm talking about... Th even 13, 14, 15, 16, Tiki, 17. You can, did you can show some experience? Something you can take, be with him? Not show a, him some things? A, a child, though. You, you said it in those things. Well, then I made a mistake. I mean, I wouldn't have never, I wouldn't have never had, you know, that with him. Tim, we got some problems here. Whenever you talk to John, you, you told him straight up that you knew he was 13. I can't tell you how many times in this chat log that you tell him that you know He's 13. You talk about spring break. You ask him when he's when his mom's leaving. You plan on I coming to stay. Hold on. I've listened to you. Okay. okay? I'm going to lay it out for you because here it is. He, you were coming to stay all weekend, not just a day. You told him you were coming all weekend. You were going to have oral sex. You were going to give him oral sex. You ask him the first time that he jacked off if he had been caught by his mother. And whenever he told, whenever he asked you how old you were when you started, you said 13 or 14, and he said I was the same age, and you said that you understood. So don't tell me that you don't know that he was 13 and that that wasn't your intention to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old. No, that was not my intention. It was absolutely your intention, to Tim. Somebody Don't and fill have a me full of crap. I'm, I'm done with that game. That game is over. Now, do we want to talk about what your intentions were here? Because I'm beginning to think you're a pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. What do you want to know from me? What do I you want to know about the I chats. I have told you. I told you if I, I was coming here to meet 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 him, and okay? do what? Friends. Be honest with friend. yourself. You wanted to have sex with him. He was thirteen years old. You wanted to no. help him explore. I'm sorry. No. If no. 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 It you would can not have sit happened. there it would not and have honestly be it would not true have to yourself and say no. Yes. I, it You're would a not liar. Have it would not have happened. You are a liar. I'm sorry. An I would not liar. have. I would not have had sex with a thirteen-year-old. You would have, and you will, if you got the chance. No. Yeah, Sorry. That's why you were coming here. No. I came here to try to meet a friend. And do what? Uh, maybe a boyfriend. Go a relationship. Give him a blowjob. Cuddle with him. <sighs> Lay with him in bed all weekend long. No. Do I have I do not have any clothes with You're unemployed. All You're I mean, just mm -hmm. bouncing around. Why not? Mom's gone, go stay with the thirteen yeah. year old. It's like he's not gonna kick you to the curb like your boyfriend did for another woman. Is he? I don't know what you want me to say, but I'm you know that's not what what you're saying is I'm a pedophile, and that is not. Well, what that's I what I'm thinking you are. I mean, can you think of anything other than I, that, I think John? After what she just said, she went down. You wanted this weekend. You guys spent a whole weekend together. That's making me think. The way you're talking to me. That's a pedophile talking. The way you're talking. That's a pedophile. The agents are putting more pressure on Kine and they have abandoned the friendly approach. Kine is no longer able to think over his answers, and the change in attitude has thrown him off balance. He is no longer in a position in which he feels secure. Or, Tim, I, I, you know, I thought we were on the right track. I thought we were on the road to figuring this out. But all you're telling me is you weren't expecting anything. You were! No, you I wasn't. Were. I was expecting to meet somebody. You were going to if spend I, all night, we have all a connection, week long. Go from there. All you had no. plans. You I had, had plans to meet somebody. You had sure. plans. No, 
you had planned to be with him all weekend long. All weekend yes. long. And to be with him romantically, sexually, however you want to put it, that's what you were going to do. And you were going to be with him and explore all those things. Age didn't matter, didn't matter to you. All of those things didn't matter. You found somebody you connected no. with. Tim, that's what... I you found somebody I was connected with, but I did not find a 13-year-old child. You absolutely you did. did. I have made a, a mistake. Year old. No, I made a didn't. mistake. Yes, I did. You, you told him three different times that age didn't matter. Well, age matters and then when you it's talked 13 about years old. You know what? 13 year old is good for you because he's innocent and he doesn't no. have all the baggage that your other relationships sorry, no. have had and it'd be much easier to pull the wool over his eyes and no. be a slug and no, him yeah. think you're great no i'm sorry oh yeah you can help him explore his gayness yeah that's where no. this was coming I could, from. no it was not it yeah was that's not. absolutely was, where it was i coming came from. here to meet a friend maybe a boyfriend but not a 13 year old kid then I made a mistake. So what were you going to do with this boyfriend? Then I would have left. If I would have found out, if I would have known, then I knew and then I just didn't realize it. Because when I looked on the website, it had a date, like 1974, something like that. So that's the connection that I thought. Okay. You've already told me that everybody lies online. Why yeah, would you think you, that that's correct? Until you meet somebody and go. Until you yes. chatted with him and he told you he was 13 well, years I old. I made a mistake. And you said that was great. That was fine. You did not have a problem with the age difference. I Yes. I you talked have to a him about high have a school. You talked to him that. about girls at school and the, and the boys. <sighs> If there are any gay boys at his school, at his high school. Yeah, we talked about a lot of things. So we you knew about, he wasn't 18. I thought he was 18. No, you didn't, I, Tim. I swear I thought he was 18. Come off of it. You, you knew he wasn't 18. Tim, you don't say it three times. You don't forget three well, separate then, times. I can't type for shit. Not in a day either. Not in a day. And you talk to him for five or six five days. Five or six days a week. You yes. spend a lot of time grooming him and getting him ready for this day. Don't no. tell me. I, Don't man, tell me that you weren't you planning on coming here and having sex no, with him. No, that's not my that's intention. That's absolutely no, your not. intention. You talked to him for five or six days all that it's time. It's still not my intentions to go in and have sex with somebody that I don't know. Why not? Because. He's gay. That's not, I don't care. You don't? That's you not cared what, in the chat? That's not what I'm looking for. You absolutely cared in the chat if he was gay. Uh, no. Did I... I did not say I care if you're gay. So I did not say you, so you that like girls. I, you I want to have sex, sex with, with a girl. You. I did not say that you're going to have sex with me or nothing. I that's not what yes, I'm looking for. Yes, you did. For. No. Yes, you no, did, did talk not. to him about it. Let's see. I did not Two say page. that you're going to have sex with me for nothing. Let's yeah. talk about what you said. Go ahead, Tom. You talked about it. You know, Tim, we can be over here or you can be here. Which is it? You need to make a decision. Uh, you, you, I cannot you know, have, say. I cannot you, say that. You Tim. want it to be up here? You know, I'm you not, want it to I'm be I'm just stretching, okay. please. Okay. I've really got to go to the bathroom. Just bad. have a seat. We're almost done here. I don't know what you want me to say to you, and I'm not going to sit there and say something that's not true. I don't want you to tell me something that's not true. I don't want you to tell me that's anything that's not true. Me. Because that's not fair to you, and that's not fair no, to me. it's not. And you know, what I'm telling you, I am telling you right now, is you come up here, here to be with him for the weekend, and to have sex, and do other things. I'm not saying it's just all one big sex exploit. You come up to do other things, and you guys are going to have sex. That was the plan. That was what's going on. That's where we're at. Okay? All right? If you want to be up here... And everybody's thinking, you're that other person. Go right ahead. Okay? I'm sure I can find a jury somewhere to say, oh, yeah, that's, that's the way Tim is. Okay? Tim, you come up here. You got to get it. Tim, you got to get this off your shoulders. If you don't get it off your shoulders, it's, it's going to eat you. It's going to eat you alive. Once again, the agents make an abrupt shift in tone as they urge Kine to get the truth off of his chest. After having heard some of the things he has written, Kine has to know what the inevitable outcome will be. 
What do you want me to say to you? What do you well, want me to say to you? When you came up here, and you no, know, cut the bullshit out of it. I came up here. You come up to, here. I came up here. Go ahead. I want you to cut the bullshit. That's I came. All I came up here to meet somebody. You came up okay? here to have sex. I did not with a child. No, no, I did not. You absolutely. I came up here to meet somebody. Hopefully, we had a connection. And you wanted more. That was the weekend was planned. About. If I found a boyfriend, maybe. But I did not come you up here. You found that find boyfriend in John. A, I did not find a thirteen-year-old boyfriend. You did. I did not. No. John. Let's be honest with each other. <clears throat> I you, am. Know, you, you know, if you, I can't get you over the hump, or we're going to be over there. I don't know. You keep saying over there. What? The pedophile. The guy that everybody creeps everybody up. The one that you're, you're worried about. You know, did you make a mistake and you felt there was a connection? Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought there was a connection. And you come up here to be with John romantically for the weekend and have a weekend to get away from all your troubles, all the things that have been bothering you, being fired from your job, having to, you know, with everything going downhill, <clears throat> you had one weekend, one weekend, where all those things could be away. No, that you're saying that. No, that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I was looking for. What, what is it? You're that's saying that I came saying. up here to have sex. You came that's up it. here to have sex. No. You were going to stay all weekend. You said, I'll come <clears> over <throat> after work Friday if you want. We'll probably want to spend all weekend with you. If you were going to continue that grooming process no, I mean, right on from the chat room, and you were going to have sex with this boy and give him oral sex over and yeah, over yeah. and over all weekend I'm long. I'm sorry, no. Yes, if you I was up, came up here to meet somebody, okay. If we liked each other, okay. If you liked each other. Okay, okay that's like. fine. Maybe it'll go to a friendship, a boyfriend. Maybe. I'm not looking for one night stand. I'm not, you know, that's not what I was looking for. But then why would you tell him all this? What, that I'm looking for one night stand? No, why would you tell him what you, what all these things about a blow job and, and I, taking shots together? Know. Why would you tell him? I don't know. It just, I don't know. We tell talked about all like different kinds of head. stuff. We've talked, we talked about all kinds of different things. You asked him uh, if he had done that before. And you told him you liked to jack off a lot. And you said you would give him head if he wanted you to. How often do you jack off? You got me hard now. Truthfully, I'm thinking about jacking off. These are your words, not mine. I'm not making these up. These are yours. How old were you? 13 or 14. Oh, so my age. You remember that, I'm sure. Not Those are really. all your words. I... Black and white, right here. Can't deny them. But still, you're saying that I came up here for one reason and one reason only. And that is not true. To have sex. No, that's not true. With a 13-year-old. That's not true. That's not the reason I came up here. John, we, we can't help her. I don't know what else you Jim, want me to say. I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not, you know, that's not what I came up here for. You have lied. You've lied to me for how, over an hour now. You know, I, I'm tired of being lied to. Um, and the, only, only, the only, unless we become, well, you've come on with me, the only other thing is, I just handed, I'll just hand this over to somebody and say, hey, this is what he's saying, this is what the evidence says, you make your decision. And they're going to say that he's a pedophile. That's I can tell you what they're going to say. They're what do you want say, me to say? That I can't, what do you really want me to say? I want you to tell me the truth. That is the truth. I came up here to meet a guy. Okay? And be with him. And be with him. And go from there. Hopefully you find a boyfriend. Watch movies. Get have to know sex. each other. If it may be, have Jack sex. off. Give oral. Maybe. But no, not the age no. thing. That's what you were gonna do. Not, I don't. You can't say that's what I was gonna do because I never met. That's the what you person. wanted to do. You never met the person. You wanted that's to do. That's what that. you wanted to do. Even after hearing the chat log read back to him, Kind still insists on denying that there were any sexual intentions for his weekend plans. Most of his protests stem from the issue of age.
but Reed has read several passages that prove Kine knew exactly what he was doing, and he hadn't made a mistake, as he said earlier. You know, wasn't it? I don't know. Wasn't so, it, I mean, Tim? No, That's what you I wanted not, to do. I did you not said it there, in the chat. I did not sit there and fantasize. That's what you wanted to do, Because I did do, not Tim. know the person. You wanted to have oral sex with him. <sighs> you wanted to masturbate I did not him. know him, so I could not say you that. You wanted I to mean, have sex. Over the, over the chat. You knew him on the chat. Over the chat. You out. were coming to know more about him, to have oral sex. I was coming to know more about him, to get to know him better. To masturbate. To maybe go see a movie. Because go he watch made movies. you hard. Go maybe bowling or something. Yeah, and that's how you groom somebody. Well, I don't know do about that. that. I, I don't know about that. Oh, I think you know a lot no. more than you pretend to know. No. You're 42 years old. Yeah. I'm not 13. Okay. I'm not falling for it. I don't know. I, you know, that's not what I came up here for, and I'm not going to tell you that's what I came up here for. <clears throat> then I guess we'll just have to pass this off. And yeah. I'll I mean, Tim, I mean, I'm see sorry. what they see I'm not, and they'll think what they think. And you know, I, I think we've given you every chance to lay it on the line. And, you know, I, I, you know, I, I've tried every which way. To understand. What? I'm looking for a boyfriend. No, I've I've been trying to I understand. Mean, I Tim, I've tried to understand everything you've told me. And we went from nothing kind of happened to something that will happen. Maybe what could have happened. And then we're at this point. And I've tried <laughs> to understand, but every moment, every time I talk, every time we. Question answer. It's like you're stalling. What am I stalling for? I don't know. I, you know? You know. If we can't be honest with each other. I have been I, honest I, with you. No, I have, Tim, Yes, I have. I told Tim, you why I came up Tim, here. Tim, that is the reason I came up here. Tim. I'm being straight up with you. Okay. If you want to look like a pedophile, that's fine. Nothing I can do about that. If you come up here to be with somebody, be with John, and you knew the age, you knew what was going to happen this weekend, you had plans set in sight, that's one thing. I'm not saying you're, you're a masked guy going out molesting boys and this and that. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to go there. And this whole time I've been with you, and Agent... Reed has been with you. We're not trying to say he's that. I, you know. Well, you're trying to make I, me admit to saying that I'm I, that. But, but you know, Tim, that's Tim, not. No, Tim, we're trying Tim, to get what you, you to be honest with yourself. I honest. I'm, that about is what, what has happened. I yes, I realize what has happened. Tim, Tim. You know, the whole thing was a lie. Tim. What? The whole thing was a setup. You're coming here? Huh? You're coming I thought here. that I came here to meet somebody, okay? To get to know somebody. Maybe be friends. Maybe a boyfriend. I did not realize, you know, that it was a child. If I would have found out that, I would have probably maybe watched a movie and left. And you would have stayed there a little bit longer? You would have stayed all weekend. No, I would not have. I don't have any clothes with me to stay all weekend. I don't. You would have cuddled. No. You would have hung out together. You would have Sorry. gotten to know each other. Not if I would have known that this you kid was 13 years old. You would have had a relationship. You could have had a boyfriend. No. You could have had a relationship. Not with a 13. How are you going to have? Not a, how are you going to have a relationship with a 13 year old? Maybe you need to answer that question. I, you can't. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, that's so not... your intentions were never to have a relationship with this boy. It was to come and have sex. No, that's Since not true. Since you knew he was 13 I years old. I did not old, realize he was 13 years old. And you visited that issue three to four times in your chat. I did not realize chat, that he was 13 years old. Over five to six days. You did too. Then I made a mistake. I thought it was 18. There is no mistake in this. Kine might as well abandon the narrative that he believed the boy to be 18. He might have gotten away with it if age had never been brought up, if the boy had claimed to be older, or 
if they were on a site that required age verification. But since the subject had been brought up multiple times throughout the duration of contact, lying about it is just making things worse. You came all the way from Indianapolis to be with a 13-year-old no. boy who was exploring his sexuality. I'm sorry, but that's not... You're saying I came here to have sex and that's not true. That is not true. Well, you I'm didn't not, come here to have a relationship because I you said you couldn't have one with a 13-year-old. I didn't know he was 13. I swear I thought he was 18. Come on, Tim. That I made a mistake. We have run around in circles here. Yes. Tim, I did not age, realize that. Tim, age does not matter. Age matters when, to Tim, that, when it goes down to that. You said it doesn't matter. When it goes Tim. to that, Tim. yes, it does matter. <laughs> I'm not interested Oops. in the age. I'm interested in the guy. Yeah, but you're 13 you years old. And that's no. what you found in John. You found somebody you were interested in. And you came up here to be with him. To be with him several different ways. One to watch the movies. One to cuddle. Probably to have oral sex. Probably to have actual sex. That was what was going to happen. I'm not saying it was a free-for-all. That's what. That's was, not. That was what. You can't say that's what was going to happen because I don't know if that's what was. That's what you intended. That's I don't what know. you wanted. That's what you were dreaming about. That's what you were hoping for. I was hoping to meet a friend. You were hoping that maybe this, a boyfriend. You sure. Were, no, you were hoping that this could be a nice weekend, a romantic weekend with John, alone, <clears> nobody <throat> around. That's what this weekend was about. That's where the truth lies. This weekend, John, this weekend Tim, was about meeting somebody, Tim, maybe friends, Tim, maybe. That's where the truth lies. Now, if you want to meet me there, <laughs> I'll meet you halfway. I will meet you halfway. Okay. What are you talking about? Meet me halfway. You're you're just telling me the same thing. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe it couldn't happen. Maybe it probably wouldn't happen. I don't know. You said verbatim what you wanted to do when you came up this weekend. That's what you had in mind. That's what was probably was going to happen. I'm not saying that you did anything. I'm not saying you ever had a chance to do anything. I'm not saying that. But that's what you intended for this weekend to be about, was to explore those things you talked about. You, If you didn't, you wouldn't have said it. And you told me that already. If it wasn't going to be that, you wouldn't have said it. You wouldn't have said it. That's what this weekend was about. The weekend was going to be something special, something that you could get away with all that. If things. I can meet friends, it, yes. Meet, I mean, if I can meet, meet a friend, friends. maybe relationship, yeah. This was going to be something special. This was going to be a special weekend. This was one of the things that you guys talked about. You were guys going to try them out. <clears throat> That's the truth. That's the reality. I'm not saying you did any of those things. Tim, I have not once said you did any of those things. Okay? But that's what this weekend was about. That's what we're talking about. And you know, I'm, I'm telling you straight up, I'm telling you the truth. That's what this weekend was about. I don't know what that's, you know, I don't know until, you know. And I'm not saying, Tim, Tim, <clears throat> we've been all over this, this issue, this and that. I can read, I know, you know, this is what it's about. This is what's going to happen. You know, Tim, I know. That's what it was about. And I know. And you know I know. Okay? Tim, this was what the weekend was about, wasn't it? The weekend was about meeting somebody. Tim. I'm sorry. Tim, That's don't. what the weekend Tim, was don't. about. Tim, I am reaching. It wasn't even I a weekend. Re Tim, I am reaching out to you. I'm sure you are. I'm throwing, I'm, throwing I mean, I'm throwing you a rope to help you. Help me? How are you helping me? I don't well, understand. Well, you know what? You're not being honest with me, so I'll treat you like a pedophile. 
I don't understand I'll what you I'll treat you like want. a pedophile. I'll just say, you know what? He wasn't honest with me. He, he I have he, been he, honest he, with he you. He yanked me around left, I right, came up left, here. right. I came up here to meet somebody, okay? Friends, maybe a boyfriend. Okay, go from there. And what do you mean by go from there? A boyfriend. Relationship. Go build a relationship. Go from there. And you're going to do that. A relationship. And you're going to do that in one weekend. I would know if I like somebody by meeting them within, you know, a few hours of getting to know somebody. Kyne's body language alternates between nervous gestures such as scratching himself, or wiping his mouth, to clasping his hands between his knees to show that he is holding something in. Damn, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching. Uh, I, all, all I can all I can tell him is he wasn't honest with me. He wasn't honest with me. What I don't know and what he just, you want he me wanted to tell. To go to things. I mean, and I I'll let people think what they want to think. And I'm trying. I'm giving you every last option to be there. But you're you're giving me no other option as to say. You know, he wasn't honest with me. I know what was going to happen this week. And I, I don't know what was going to happen. I, I mean, I don't know what was going to happen. I don't you, know. You I mean, I, with, you chatted with him. I chatted with him. I talked and to you, him. We talked about all different. We talked about different bowling. We talked about watching movies. We talked about sex. We talked about school. We talked about work. We talked about life. Okay. And we this, talked about everything. And I mean, this from week, and this one weekend, thing to the other. And then this weekend was going to be special. I did. I say it was going to be special. I think as, I mean, much, as I, much as you as much as you talk to him, I think it's gonna be special. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I don't know. I you know I. You hoped sir, it was gonna be you fun. Know, nobody's gonna go there. Oh, gee, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a miserable time. I hope nothing happens. You don't go into something like that with that time of. I don't hope something's gonna happen. I mean, unless I like somebody, I'm not gonna go and, and have you like, sex and you, with and somebody and I you don't like know, John. or if it's. 13 years old, nothing would have happened. And I'm sorry. Like, and you liked John. And you liked... I did like him. I and liked the... I liked the... How he portrayed, you know, but and, it was all a show. And that was going... And this weekend was about the next step. That's what this weekend was about. It was the next This step. weekend was about getting to know somebody a little better. The next step. And going from there. Not having sex with them. I'm sorry. It's not what it was about. It was having a good time. I'll give you that. It was about having a good time. What's a good time? Good time uh, watching Kylo, movies. Watching movies. You know. Making out. I don't know. You know, that's a good time. That is a good time. Cuddling, making out, watching sure. movies, holding each other. That's a good time. I mean, and nothing would have happened, though, because of the age. I'll guarantee that. Tim, I'm sorry. would have. And, I have never, just like, just I like have never you, went after a child and before and I ever will. Just like when you were 13 and 14 and you explored for the first time, <clears throat> you were going to be there with him. No matter the age, no matter the time, that was your and his moment, that's what the week. That was your, you know, that I mean, was your, no matter, you, your first time 13, 14, that's a special age. Yeah, but it's still and a child, and no, and I'm not going to do that and, with a child. And, he, and, and you were going to be there. <clears throat> Would you rather have somebody that know what they were doing, or have somebody who could be there and be caring and be gentle and be, be, I'm not saying a teacher, but be someone that showing. No. I'm sorry. Damn. No. Damn, that you were going to be there for him. Not at you, that, no. I mean, I would have met the guy... You, I would have met the guy fine. We would have watched movies fine. You experienced If I would have found out, if I would have realized you the age. And that wouldn't have been. You keep saying that, age. but I you did not really realize it. You kept telling him you were going to protect it. him from his mom. So that she wouldn't find <sighs> out. That you wouldn't no. let anything happen to him. You knew he was a child. I, knew, I didn't know he was 13 years old. Then, then why, then if he was 18, why would you say don't tell your mom? Because a lot of because people live was, with their mom at 18 years at old 18, and flip out. Tim, when you turn 18, you're an adult. Yes, you are, but... And, and you know what? You know? Nobody's, you don't tell an 18-year-old, oh, don't tell your mom. When you talk it, about it, something it, like that, yeah, you do. Well, that's normally most, I mean, that's, most, most people that are 18 have that 
<clears throat> control that they don't tell their moms what they do. You've been 18, I've been 18, and Ancient <sighs> Pete's been 18. We've yes, all been 18. Right, right. I, when I was 18, I didn't need someone to tell me, oh, don't tell mom that we're doing this. Agent Reed at 18. I don't 18. know. I know people like that at 18. Tim. I, I've known people like that, that are 35 and 40 and still live at home with mom and dad. Oh, wow. But you know, you know what? It's pretty sad. But you know what? Well, they're not telling. Those people are not telling. Oh, don't tell nobody. I think most people would get to him at that age. Don't, you know, they understand that. <clears throat> but you knew the age. For every accusation, Kine has an excuse. This isn't unusual and isn't just a means to keep himself out of jail. Many predators have lied to themselves so convincingly that they end up believing those lies. You knew that that, that didn't matter because the, this no, was this That wouldn't matter. One. I'm sorry. It wouldn't have Yes, mattered. it would have. Yes, it would have. It wouldn't matter. I. There's no way. There's no way. No. Tim and it was about the words. Person. In your own words. No, the, I made a mistake. Age the, doesn't it matter. Makes, it's it, yes. the guy I'm interested sure, in. Sure, if you're, if you're thinking if it's you're a friendship. If you're thinking they're 13, friend, uh, which is what you said Friendship, in the but chat. not sex with a 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 15-year-old, 12-year-old. And you didn't because she would have friends, cut it off immediately. Friends, I, that's fine. But no, I'm not going to have sex with a 13-year-old. That's not what I came down here for. Then why I don't would care you what hide? Was why said. wouldn't you come and visit him when his mother was home if you're not? Afraid? I don't know because it was the only weekend I had. Because you're 42 years old, and his mother I would not have looked kindly on him having <clears throat> a stranger that he doesn't even know come to his house and that's talked to him about sex online. Well, talking and having it is different. I mean, I would not have had sex with him. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have come if his mom was home either, would you? I don't know. I probably wouldn't have met him. I'm sure I would have met him. Somewhere else. 18 years old, yes, I would have came to his house. If his mother was home. If his mother was home. Well, then why did you try and come today and his mother wasn't home? Why did I try to come today? Because he was dad? 13. See, that's where I didn't realize it. I mean, I made a mistake. Oh, Tim. Then I you did just it. Lying to then I said it, over and, and I, over and over. Then I made a mistake. You can call it that. Yeah, I read that on on his picture, the date, and I just okay. Tim, no. <clears throat> Tim you didn't read that. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You didn't read. Yes, that. I did. I'm sorry, Tim, but Tim. even then, I still would not have had sex with a 13-year-old kid. Tim, it didn't matter. And I never have, the, and I never will. It's not about the age. It's <clears throat> not. It's about the person. It is about you, the age. That's what this know, whole thing about, is about. It's, it's the a, age. No, it's a, and the whole time, I, I did. I thought he was 18. Okay, so you're talking to him. I wouldn't have had sex with any, you know, if he wasn't 18. But I don't know if I'd have sex with anybody. I, I know I wouldn't have sex with anybody, just meeting somebody. I'm sorry, No. I'm take care of some paperwork. I think we ought to give Mr. Town a few minutes to. Yeah. Can I please use the bathroom? I think we'll come back and get you a few minutes. And take care of some paperwork. We'll check back in on you. I can't, though, use the bathroom. Just you give us a minute, right there. Okay. please. Just just give us, I'll really give you a minute, okay? Need to go. Okay.
When Kine is left alone, you can hear his breathing become ragged. He claims he needs to use the restroom, but a certain amount of his physical reactions are due to nerves. Hey Tim. Yeah. I'll take you to the bathroom. Uh, Large or cool. Don't do yeah, anything. I, don't you don't do anything stupid. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. But you can be a guy with a problem, or you can be a pedophile, and I can help you work through that. But I need you to talk to me. We're looking five to ten years. Prison time for what's happened here tonight. And you know how this works. You know, if you actually um, talk about your issues, your problems, people, all people have them, then, you know, a judge is going to want to hear that as opposed to, oh, I didn't know. I didn't do this. What do you, what do you want me to tell you? I'm not gonna. I want you to tell me what you intended to do I told when you. you came here. I told you. I, I want came. you to tell me how you knew this person was underage. It's obvious in your chats that you knew this. And I'm not buying this song and dance um, that no. you didn't. You didn't know he was 18 or 13. You thought he was 18. You think he was 18 now because that's what you want to think up here. But that's not what it was. You knew he was 13. No. Looking at his... His page, name, had a date. Which basically insinuates how old you were. And by okay. his name, and then I made a mistake. And by his name, his screen name, it said 93. No, I'm talking about gay.com. And yeah. you told me everybody lies on the internet. Well, every, yeah, I know. And that's how you, when you meet somebody, that's how you know. So then you talked to him, and he told you he was 13. You knew he was 13. See, then I made a mistake, man. I. Okay. It's, it's a mistake. Then I made a mistake. But it's going to be a mistake that's going to cost you five to ten years. Unless you deal with it here and now. I don't understand what you want me to tell you. I'm, you just want me to tell you something that, that isn't true or incriminate myself so you can put me in jail. Incriminate yourself. Yeah, because that's what... I'm not asking you to incriminate yourself. You're telling... I, I'm asking you to tell I'm me gonna... what you were doing. I told you, I came here to meet somebody, okay? Friends, maybe a relationship, okay. I did not come here to have sex with somebody, and that's it. That's not what I was looking for. I, that's not what I was looking for. Reed isn't being honest. 
because Kine is absolutely right when he says they are trying to get him to incriminate himself. They have plenty of evidence, but a confession is always a plus in an investigation. Well, you know you're going to jail. For what? For what you've done tonight. You drove all the way down here to see an underage child. You talked about sex with them online, on chat. You talked about giving them head. You talked about sleeping with them, cuddling. You were going to stay all weekend. You asked if their mom wasn't home. You were going to protect them if nothing happened. And to How boot, cool. you said, if your mom kicks you out, you can come and live with me. Yeah, a 13-year-old kid. And then you wanted to meet them somewhere, and what did they tell you? I can't drive. An 18-year-old can drive, can't they? Unless you lost your license. You knew this kid hadn't lost his license. Maybe I did realize that. I just, you know, but still, nothing would have happened sex-wise. I'm s no. <laughs> nothing would no. nothing would have happened no. sex wise. No. No. Not to a child. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I don't care. Tim, I see how this developed. You've had horrible relationships. People have manipulated you, treated you like garbage. You don't know me. Even your no. own parents. You don't know me. Don't my agree parents. With who you are. What are you talking about? My about. parents are great people. How can you say that? You talked about it in your chat. They might not. Yeah. But they would flip out. They probably would. I guess they're gonna find out. Though, so you hide they? everything about you. You can't be real with anybody out there, can you? But online, you can. And with this innocent 13-year-old, he's not going to judge you because all he's looking for is somebody to understand him. See, no. Man, that, see, you're, sent, you're, you're trying to say it's that... It's so easy. I did not come here. To get here. caught up in that. I you did, need acceptance. I him did. and I understand that. But until you understand that... We're not going to get anywhere with this process. But you're telling me that I came up here to have sex with a 13-year-old kid, and that is not what I came up here for. But that's all you did in the chat was talk about how you were going to come and see him. You spent five and six days talking to this kid. Yeah. You already told me that you hoped to have more than just a friend relationship. Maybe a boyfriend, but not a with a 13-year-old kid. But then you told me with boyfriends that you have more than just a friendship, that you have an intimate relationship, and sometimes you get head or have sex. But not with a child. But you told me you already realized that this was a child. Tim. I, I would not have had sex with a child. I'm sorry. I did not come up here to meet a child to have sex with a child. Tim, you talked to him about the Easter bunny. An what? Easter basket. God, everybody, I got an Easter basket. You asked him if he still believed in the Easter bunny. Don't tell me you thought come he was on. 18 years old. I did not ask old. somebody if they... You absolutely asked him. No. Do you still believe in Easter bunny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. And it's in black and white. Now come off of it. Any judge is going to see that. Any jury is going to see that. And they're going to say, this guy is absolutely a pedophile. Well, he needs I guess to it's going to have to go that far. Away. You know, it's going to have to go that far then. Because I, you know, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not after, you know, that's not what I was after. What were you after, Tim? Huh? You were after a I was relationship told you, I was with after... a 13-year-old. I did not realize he was 13 years old. There's no way. Do you generally talk to 18-year-olds about the Easter Bunny? Sure. Yeah. But I, you know, I and got an Easter to basket, about for God's sakes. going to high school, and you talk to them about their friends and if they're gay and what it's yeah. like to be 13 I mean, I was 18. I was still in high school. But you tell an 18-year-old you know? that you know what it's like to be 13? When I first had... Sex at 13. I see, I no, I did not realize this. 
You had sex at 13? I had sex when I first lost my virginity was probably at 13, 14, right around there. What was, what was the circumstance? What do you mean? Was it, did you seek it out or did? No. Kine continually denies saying the things that they found in the chat logs, but each denial sounds weaker and weaker, and Reed keeps pressing him, not giving him a moment to regroup. I don't Someone, uh, it was just approach a, you it was just a mutual thing with who in high school with a friend mm -hmm. with an older person I don't want to go there with, I don't want to go there well I mean you brought it up I'm just trying I know, to help I you brought out it up, I mean that's, you know you're trying to help me understand and I think you brought it up for a reason what that I had sex when I was 13 years old yeah I you know that's probably when I lost my virginity did somebody molest you? No. So you had sex willingly? Mm hmm Was it with someone your age or someone older? My age. How did that relationship turn out? Friends. So were you exploring your... <clears throat> Uh, homosexuality at that time? Actually, it was not. It was with a girl. It was with My a girl. My first time, yes. So, is that when you figured out that you weren't interested in girls? I don't know. I thought off and on, off and on, you know? I mean, I had girlfriends in high school. <clears throat> no, I don't know. You know, I'm, you know, I like men better. Sure. I do believe so. I like still think, men, I still men. think, no, I don't like children. You know, I'm not looking for, you know, I that's say not children, what, I I'm said not, young men. That's not what I, you know, that's not even right. What's not right? For underage, you know, that's what, that's not right to have sex with somebody underage. It's not right. And that's, that's not why me. there's laws. And, yeah. and that's not that's me. That's why we're I talking didn't do it. about five and that's, to ten years. Well, I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I mean, that's not right. That's you, not right. You chatted with a child online. Now, I didn't realize that, though. I mean, I did not realize that. You did that realize you, it, and I have it in the chat. And well, you also... Well, I didn't realize it. I mean, I might have said it, I just, you know, it just didn't click, I guess. <clears throat> so is this the profile you saw for John? Yeah. Okay. And can you show me where on here you thought that he was 18? I can't. Because it's not there and it never was. Here it says yeah. 73. Yeah, but then on his yeah, Yahoo, see, it says he's 13, never looked at which that you also went location. there. See, Tim? See, you see what that's this, where... No, you see what I this mean, looks like? Yeah, I see what it looks like. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Yes, it is. And a jury... I still would not. A jury will not. I still would not have had sex a group with of a your thirteen year old children. Is not going to see it that way. It looks like your intent, your motivation, everything. It, it's right there on the line. You, you're a pedophile. You're a predator. That's not. It was not my intentions. 
It was not my intentions. You can't make me say that that was my intentions because that's not what my intentions were. Tell me what your intentions were. I told you. I mean, I told you. But you've told me everything except what you did in that chat, except what well, you we actually about said sex in the chat. And that stuff you... like that, but I still don't, I would not have sex with somebody without meeting them, getting to know them, and going from there. And that's there. what you intended to and do, was meet them, get to know them, and go from there, child, which means have if sex. If it was a child, no. You knew it was a child. I did yeah. not know it was a child, I'm sorry. Tim, you did. I did not, come on. Kind might as well give in. Reed is correct when she tells him that no one looking at that chat history will believe that Kind's intentions were platonic. There is no way to get out of this, and the best he can do for himself is to bring this interview to an end. You knew it was a child. Look, That's I'm not going to take anything from you. Come on, man. I know what the chats say. You know what the chats say. We'll just let a judge and a jury see them. I guess that's, you know. The profile yeah. doesn't say what you said it said. No, but it's 73. It says age 73. Right. That's what. Age. You know, I thought that was like birth date. I don't, I made a mistake. I, you thought it was birth date. So whenever you were in there, you asked how old he was. Yeah. And he said 13 and you said age didn't matter because it was the guy you're interested in. See, I made a mistake. You know, because I, I still would not. You didn't make a mistake. You I still knew. would not have went for somebody because they're underage. I'm looking, you know, 18 would have been fine. He didn't have but a I car. But I made a mistake. He didn't have a car. He didn't have a driver's license. He couldn't meet you somewhere because he was well, 13 years old. Well, I didn't put old. two and two together and that he was that. 13 years old. I did not know that. I did not. I mean, that's, I did wow. not know that. Well, we have some paperwork to fill out, so when you go to the jail, they'll have your information. Why do I have to go to jail? Because you have committed a crime. You're not going home today. I don't know if you understand that I, or not. Yeah. When they read you your rights, it's because you were under arrest. When they threw mm. you down on the floor at the house, it's because you were under arrest, because you had committed a crime. This is serious. Yeah, this is I know, not a I joke, know. That's and why you're not keep, walking out the front door you keep saying, without a pair of cuffs on. You keep saying that, though, that, you know, what... I can't go like this. Well, It's not right, because I, you know, I didn't know the kid was 13 years old, or I would have never done it. Spell your last name. K-Y-N-E. First name? Timothy. Middle? L. Home number? Emergency number? That's it. Okay. Do you have any other name you go by? Do you go by your middle name or nickname? No. No. Address? His, yeah. uh, your ID is Indiana, right? Yes. Can you help with anything? Or? 
Oh, uh, we're getting him wrote up. He's going to be going down to the jail here in a few minutes. So explain to him that he's uh, looking at some serious charges. And if you want to talk about the things that have met those elements of the crime, that would be yeah. uh, helpful for him, I'm sure. Yeah. What's the bail? It's okay. going to be very high. I mean, I set by a judge, so, but... You're not going to be going home anytime soon. <sighs> they don't want you out meeting somebody else, and... I did not do anything. Didn't... What happened, Tim? Huh? What happened? It's, I did not do anything. I thought that... I did not know that. And then the age says he's 73. Reed has come to the conclusion that there is nothing more to be gained from questioning Kine, and she begins the process of closing the interview. Kine still says he did nothing wrong, but the fact that he crossed the state line with the intent to have sex with a minor is, in of itself, a crime. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And was that your handwriting and your wording, the typing? I didn't see any of it. it Some of it, sure. Agent, Agent Reed? But yeah. Could you mind if I see that? I mean, some of it, sure. I mean, you want me to admit to something that's not true. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. asking you. Is if you look at this, is that your is that your ID up here? Yes. Yeah, that's yours. Yes. Okay. Is that your conversation? You know, you told me you were an electrician, mm -hmm. commercial electrician. Is that what you wrote? Yes. Okay. So all those, all that looks accurate? Pretty much. Okay. So all those things are accurate, correct? That you're looking at is, you can see, you can kind of go down the whole page, and that's, you know, you know, you tell me you're a commercial electrician and you're, you know, kind of me. So that's all correct, right? I don't know. I mean... Do you want to look at any? I have some others here. I mean, just, if you want to verify, I mean... I, you know, let a lawyer verify it. I, you know, I mean... I mean, I did not, my, was not my intention is to go and have sex with a 13-year-old kid yeah. or rape one or okay. kill one or whatever you guys are insinuating that I'm, was here to do. But you did drive from Indianapolis to Highland Heights? Yes. Okay. okay. And but I was on my way to Dayton, and, you know, so okay. it's no big deal. Okay. And you drove from Highland, from Indianapolis to Highland Heights, and you made your way to uh, was it 140 Vogel. Is that that correct? Yeah, I mean, you guys know that's correct. Okay, I'm just, I mean, you. I, I'm just I'm just doing basic stuff with you. And you said you brought some movies. Brought some movies with you. Yes. Okay. Just like I said, I was going to get to know somebody, okay. you know. But I sure in the hell wasn't here to rape a fourteen-year-old child or 
not, not 12 not, years old. Not, and, not saying you are. Not, not saying that. That's what you're insinuating. That's what you've been trying to get me to tell you. I'm not, that, you know, I mean, that's not the truth. Okay. So you brought me some movies to watch with, uh, with John, right? Well, I don't even know who it was now. Okay. Well, that was, you, know, you were going to watch, you were going to watch the movies at 140 Bowl. Well, I, you know, either that or we were going to go to the movies. Okay. You know, or go bowling or, you know, or something, you know, I mean, but. It was never my intentions to do that, man. It was never my intentions to, you know. What type of vehicle do you have? 06 Chevy pickup. Where's the where's my vehicle at? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know where it's at right now. What color was it? Gray. Silver or gray. Okay. Kine should have already known that the police will be taking possession of his car. Either with his permission or with a warrant, they're going to be searching it for any more evidence. Alright. I think that's uh, all that I have that you can help me with. So, I think we're done here. Get you processed, and uh, we'll have an officer transport you down to the jail as soon as we get the paperwork done. Can I make a phone call? Uh, they'll take care of that at the jail. Timothy Kine was charged and convicted of a felony count of interstate travel to engage in sexual assault of a minor. Kine was sentenced to 46 months in federal prison for crossing state lines, 20 years of supervised release, and lifetime probation and registration as a sex offender. Thanks again for tuning in. Drop a like if you like this video, and check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel even more. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.